everybody, I'm Brandon. Today I'm doing another video from Watch Mojo. This one right here is titled Top 10 Greatest SpongeBob SquarePants Running Gags. Y'all requested it. Don't trip me now. Got gotcha. y'all. Shout out Watch Mojo for the fire ass content. Um, running gags. That mean like continuous running jokes, right? I'm sure that's what that means. You know, just that that phrase, I'm not too familiar with that phrase, running gags. I'm, I'm, yeah, it just means like running jokes, continuous jokes. Anyway, I'm ready to hop on into it. Let's go. We're ready for some hilarious recurring Who's Phoebe? jokes. Hey what guys, up? it's Phoebe with Watch Mojo. Today we're counting down our Phoebe got a new job. That's we're taking a look at our favorite catchphrases, quirks, and all around funny gags that keep popping up under right. the sea. Let's get to it. <laughs> Number 10, Meow. This snail's got such a way with words. Snails have been classified as the felines of the sea. So naturally, Gary's dialogue mostly consists of one word. Meow. Mm -hmm. While initially making small kitten noises during the show's early seasons, as time progressed and he became a much more prominent character, Gary soon began meowing in near full sentences. What? I've never seen this. This nigga Gary was tripping. Aside from the Bob, <laughs> nobody fully knows what Gary's actually saying. He could be offering words of wisdom or giving SpongeBob attitude. We may never know, and we're not sure if we're ready to find out. Bring that ladder back this instant. I am really not amused, mister. You are going to take a bath, and you are going to get clean right now. I am so the boss of you. <laughs> Number nine, Jill and Jenkins. What? It's old man Jenkins and his jalopy. Howdy, Mrs. K. Of all the citizens of Bikini Bottom, very few have been name dropped as much as old man Jenkins. What makes this mysterious elderly fish so interesting is that he's been seen in many different shapes and sizes. One day he could be a wide guy with a noisy jalopy. The next day he could be a bluefish eaten by a seahorse. Or even what? an angry farmer who's bitter towards city folk and their flying machines. I knew no good would come from city folk and their flying machines. <laughs> In recent years, oh, this particular fuck. gag has slowed down that. since the creators finally settled on Old Man Jenkins' design. A skinny green fish with overalls whose lights aren't always on upstairs. <laughs> Mrs. Puff inflating. They don't call her Mrs. Puff Clearly. for nothing. Clearly. Whenever involved in an emotionally stressful situation, she rapidly inflates like an oversized balloon. Yeah. Like a like a puffer fish, right? Isn't that a thing? On the one hand, I'm like ninety percent sure, bro. Mrs. Puff's life has become somebody to Google it. Bob. It's gotten to the point where she actually has a criminal record. But I don't belong here. It's all a big mistake. However, it's hard not to chuckle at how she's her own personal airbag, made even more fitting by the fact that she's a puffer fish. But See? Mrs. Puff better be careful Told not to you. get too worked up, or she just might pop. Literally. No, SpongeBob. Don't touch the no! Number seven, explosions. <laughs> Did we mention that the show is an explosive success? Turns out that it's also a literal statement since explosions are a common occurrence in Bikini Bottom. Sometimes they'll happen when something's <laughs> crashing down or when to your patties. And then there are times all it takes is a light tap and the whole place goes up in smoke. It goes hey guys, to your I finished it. Oh shit. Of course, the best kinds of explosions are the ones that happen for no actual reason, which in turn increases the cartoony, zany charm that we love about this absorbent show, so long as we don't get caught in the crossfire. I can't find the coin slot! Here it is! <laughs> <laughs> Why did he explode? That's so random. 
extremely uh. annoying shift later. Need a hilarious method of emphasizing how much time has passed. <laughs> that shit is the iconic. The series is with its own colorful handy dandy time cards. Three conveniently read aloud later. by the series French narrator. It doesn't <laughs> matter how much hilarious. time has passed. A few hours, two a few days, hours or even later. Years. Who came Who up with that so fucking genius? Two thousand years. Later. What makes this gag funnier is when the cards display an absurd or silly saying that really shows off how painful long something can take. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hide. I'm just hoping that they don't run out of these cards as there is no shortage of hilarity as time passes. Number five, Plankton's constant failures. This is no ghost. This is Plankton stealing me booty. Hear me Whoa, pause. When I discover your <laughs> pause. Patty, I'll run you out of business. For years, Plankton has tried and failed plain, to steal the secret crazy, formula to Mr. Krabs' world-famous Krabby yeah. Patties. There's no level that Plankton won't stoop to, pun intended, to achieve this goal. His schemes range from ingenious and conniving to harebrained and full of holes. Despite him putting his best foot forward, what? it always ends in failure either because of his own arrogance or because he's been outsmarted by Mr. Krabs. And it usually ends with him being launched all the way back to the chum bucket. Allow me to do the honors. Uh, yeah! Uh... It's really oh, shit. The Why the chum bucket wasn't there? The secret formula. Or it'll spell certain doom, not only for the crusty crab, but for all of Bikini Bottom. And the secret formula is one bottle of molting lotion, tape, passport, photo, get new safe travel size. This isn't the secret formula. It's a to-do list. Yeah! Number four. Evil! Evil! <laughs> article boy nice, it is superheroes too. under the sea. However, decades of crime fighting have taken their toll on the duo, especially the former. In any given situation, he will panically swear or evil. Sometimes he'll even shout it out if he hears someone say it. But you can't retire. There's evil afoot. <laughs> His voice cracks whenever he screams the line is just too priceless. And late actor <laughs> Ernest Borgnine owned it in a way that his characters stand in actors could only dream of. We've got to keep up our strength for the fight against evil! We wouldn't exactly classify <laughs> laughing at a senile old man as appropriate, That's but the way hilarious. the show sells it with both his voice and yeah, overall man. reaction is comedy gold. Exactly! That's just weird. I say if you're not going to give me any respect as a hero, then maybe you'll give me respect as a villain. A villain who is evil. 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 <laughs> Number three, Squidward's Annoying Neighbors. Uh. What the fuck? They got the third eye and shit, though, neighbors. huh? Okay. Every I see it. I see it. Pod finds himself reluctantly dealing with SpongeBob and Patrick's shenanigans. They could be disturbing his peace and quiet with their playtime, show up at his house uninvited, or even worse, they could end up destroying his personal property. With Squidward getting hurt in the process. Uh -huh. <laughs> hey, we met next Saturday. Raider shine, SpongeBob. Sheesh. Why they fuck up his house like that? <laughs> No matter how hard he tries, he can't get rid of them or keep them quiet. And any attempt to do so always makes things worse. Hi, intruder alert! Intruder alert! What's the matter with you? No threat detected. No, oh, you infernal contraption! I'm gonna ship you off to the scrap heap you came from! Threat detected. Uh, to their credit, 
our favorite knuckleheads don't usually try to ruin Squidward's day on purpose. Nah, it's hard to ignore them when they have a tendency to cause so much chaos. They be doing a lot. Number two, SpongeBob failing his this driving test. This nigga cannot drive, SpongeBob bro. has taken his driving test more times than anyone in history. Yeah, and it man. It always ends in failure. This <laughs> nigga just can't why, drive. Gary. I don't know. I'm tired of failing that boating test. I've already taken it 37 times. <laughs> No matter how confident and optimistic he may be, he's a reckless disaster behind the wheel, much to the agony of poor Mrs. Puff. I'm sorry, Mrs. Puff. I'm sorry. The wheel, SpongeBob. The wheel. I'm a cheater. Even if there's a slight chance of him finally earning his coveted license, it's yanked away by the end of the episode. He can't even get his license in his dreams. Mrs. Puff, look, I finally got my driver's license. Not even in your dreams. It's <laughs> Dale. <laughs> Why it you could be easier like to that? just give SpongeBob a license just to end the cycle, but that would only spell a greater doom for Bikini Bottom. <laughs> Plus, we'd lose the dramatic and hilarious dynamic between SpongeBob and Mrs. Puff. So perhaps it's for the best that SpongeBob's quest is a fruitless endeavor. I'll take that. SpongeBob, I'll get you for this! I'll get you! While SpongeBob may never get his driver's license, we do hope that he never stops trying. Before we unveil our number one, I like her, man. She's cool. She's cool. I like her. Oh, How shit. I call it Spall and Brown. Oh, Lord, it belongs in the trash. Ah! <laughs> I'm sorry. I must have missed that one. Dale. Good morning. <coughs> Heavy dying. I was in tears when I saw that. I'm not gonna lie. That shit had me in tears, that crazy motherfucker. Get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, my leg. Taking our number one spot is the Wilhelm scream of Nickelodeon. Whenever there's pandemonium or destructive chaos in Bikini Bottom, you're almost always guaranteed to hear the <laughs> cry of my leg. Think of SpongeBob hitting that shit though. What if it didn't can do without you, SpongeBob? <laughs> my leg. <laughs> my leg. My leg. Soundbite used throughout the first few seasons blossomed into one of the funniest catchphrases of the series, brought to life by series writer and voice actor Doug Lawrence. I see you. There have been several variations of the line, but the hilarious, agonizing context is what makes this gag so iconic. Seriously, you know a throwaway line is popular enough when they make an entire episode as an homage to the joke. Why are you following my leg? Craig, you have to listen to me. Your leg is in constant danger. Isn't that so, Patrick? I think I hurt my leg. Needless to say, SpongeBob. My leg! Great video from Watch Mojo, man. Great video. Hilarious video. These, yeah, they definitely had some iconic moments on this on these bitches, man. Like for real, for real. Great video. Um Let me know what y'all thought down in the comments. I hope all y'all have a great Saturday. You know? It's Saturday morning. So enjoy yourself. Enjoy your Saturday. I'm gonna see y'all next time. Peace.